Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic, scale drawing, and for this particular lesson, we're going to look at the second part of survey. We already uh, talked about survey in the previous slide and the simple techniques that are involved in surveying a piece of land. So we want to look at how the same piece of land we are able to find. Maybe if you have the map of that piece of land, you are able to find the area. So if we have this, how do you find the area of this piece of land? Bearing in mind that it's an irregular shape using survey, surveying techniques. So what you're, what you're going to look at now in this particular lesson is the information that is already recorded in the surveyor's field book. That is what we were able to see in the previous slide. How to extract uh, measurements, you know, how to get the measurements the, the measurements obtained during the surveying process and recording them in the surveyor's field book. So now we want to see how we are able to extract that information from the surveyor's field book to have a sketch of the same piece of land or the same space and then how we are able to find the area. So we have a few questions to help us with the illustrations on how that can be done. And then at the end of the lesson, we'll be having some questions in the form of assignment just to help you practice and also to help you gauge on your understanding of the concept as discussed during this lesson. So the information that is contained in the surveyor's field book can be used to sketch the map of a given piece of land, how it looks like, you know. And then from that sketch or uh, the, the, the sketch of the map that is done, from that we are able to find the area of the, the piece of land, of the irregular. It's, it's irregular in shape. You know? So we note that areas of pieces of land which have irregular shapes can be obtained by subdividing the pieces of land into convenient geometrical shapes e.g triangles rectangles or trapezia and many others this is done by use of baselines and offsets of the area required so let's see so the baseline from the previous lesson, we're able to see that starts from X to Y. So it's more convenient that we also just draw it the way it, it is. Here. So I'll just draw the baseline. Back. So this is a sketch. So this is X. And then from X to the first baseline is, is 8 meters. So this is 8 meters. Because you don't have to indicate, we know that the length given there in meters. And then to the, from the baseline to the, to the boundary, along the offset, so this is 200. Then we have the next offset is at this point. So the length is supposed to be proportional. 200 is supposed to be slightly longer compared to 160. So that is where P is. And then this is now S. And this length here is 160. And that length is 200. So I can give this measurement here as 120. That is this one here. So that the total length from X to that point where the offset is, is 200. Then the last one is at Q. So 80 should be less than 200. So this is where Q is. So this is 80. And from X 
that point is 360. So already we have 200, so this is 160. This length here. And finally, to where Y is, is 400. It's given here, XY is 400. So that will give me the length here. To be 40. So that the total is is 400. Then now what you do is you join this. Dot, and you join this. To that. And you join this. To this. And you join this one here. And finally back to Y. So you can see the respective shapes. We have triangles and trapezium. So I'll start with area A, then you go to area B, then C, D, and then E. So that's how I'm able to get the area in square meters. So let me start with A. Being a triangle, it will be a half times space times height. So the base of this triangle will be 160 plus 40, which is 200. And then you multiply by the height, which is 160. So if you do this math, that should be... 16,000 square meters. Area B is also a triangle, also triangular in shape, so a half times. The base of this area B should be 40, and the height should be 80. So that one will be 1, 6, and 2 zeros square meters. So 1600. Our C is trape trapezoidal in shape, so it's a trapezium, so a half times. Now the two parallel sides are these and this. So 80 plus 200. And then you multiply by the height. So the height should be the distance between the two parallel sides, which is 120 and 160. So that is 280. So that is a half times. 280 times 280. So so that should be 140 times 140, which is 196. So 19600. D is also a triangle, so a half times maybe the base could be 80 and the height could be 200. So again, that is uh, 80 and then you add two zeros, square meters. Then you have E, it's also triangular. So that is a half, base is 80, no? 80 plus 120, which is 200. Then you multiply by height, which is 160. So again, that is 160. No, 16. Okay, 160, and then you add two zeros. So 16,000 square meters. So to get the total area, is now a matter of adding all these areas. This one plus this, plus this one here, plus this, plus that. So if you do that, So we have uh, one six and, and three zeros and one plus one six and two zeros. And then you have one nine six zero zero. And then you have eight thousand. Then you have one six and three zeros. So sixty one 
1200 square meters so possibly you can also find the area in hectares okay so let me do it so area in hectares should be equal to area in square meters you divide by 10000 so that is 61200 divided by 10000 and that is going to give us 6.12 hectares So that is basically what you need to, to do to find the to have the sketch done and also to find the area. So take note: the area in square meters you divide by what ten thousand will give you the area in hectares. Yes. So we have uh, this one here that you can attempt. So now the baseline is AB. And we have the first offset on the left, the second one on the right, left, and then right. Then the total, total baseline, the total length of the baseline is 600. So you can attempt together with these other assignments here. So that can be done when it is the soonest possible. Otherwise, that marks the end of the lesson. Until next time, goodbye.